Hi everyone, this is JJ with ASUS, and today I want to talk to you about some of the great features that we've got that are part of our Q Design initiative that you'll find on ASUS ATX Z690 series motherboards. These features are going to help to make your next PC build that much easier, faster, and simpler. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. The first feature is going to be the integrated IO shield. This helps to streamline your builds and ultimately makes the process that much simpler and that much faster. You don't have to worry about pre-installing the IO shield anymore as it's taken care of for you. In addition to this, it also helps to improve the overall reliability and durability of your system as you help to protect your system from EMI due to the improved EMI handling performance of the integrated IO shield. Next, we have ASUS QDIM. This is a single-sided latching design for the installation of DRAM. This makes the installation of DRAM that much quicker and that much simpler. All you have to do is to press your DIMMs down and make sure that they lock in on one side. You don't have to worry about the bottom side. This is beneficial as especially when you're installing or removing a graphics card, you don't have to worry about attempting to access latches that would be on the bottom side of the DIMM slot. Next, we have the all-in-one or AIO pump header. This header is useful as the most common type of cooler that's going to be used in a higher end build will be an AIO cooler. This 4-pin header has been pre-programmed within the UEFI BIOS to be specifically tuned for AIO pumps. It means no configuration is required. All you need to do is take the corresponding cable from your AIO and connect it to the AIO pump header and you're going to be good to go. Next, we have dual fan headers, CPU fan and CPU OPT. The boards will feature two headers, which is going to be great for the vast majority of tower heat sinks and AIO coolers. The CPU OPT header will also mirror the output control signal for the CPU fan header, making setup that much simpler. You're also going to have full control and support for these headers within the UEFI as well as within the operating system. Next, we have ASUS M.2 design, and here there's a lot to talk about. At a minimum, you're going to find that even on a board like our Z690-P, it has at least one M.2 heatsink, and with higher-end boards featuring multiple M.2 heatsinks, as well as for support between three to as many as five M.2 SSDs. We've also carefully looked at how we could improve upon the end user experience, and one of the ways was by adding captive screws to the M.2 heatsinks. This means that the screws won't drop when you essentially remove the M.2 heatsink, meaning you don't have to worry about them floating around somewhere on the motherboard or falling into the chassis. We've also carefully looked at how we could improve thermal performance for both sides of your M.2 SSDs, as now you have M.2 SSDs which feature NAND at the front and the back. As such, you'll see front and rear M.2 heat sinks, which have corresponding thermal pads and heat sinks to be able to ensure cool and reliable operation. Now, last but not least, we also have our M.2 Q latch design. This innovative design is essentially a tool-free way to be able to install your M.2 SSD. Just angle it in, slide it into place, and then lock it into place. No standoffs no screws, no precision tip screwdriver, and no worries about dropping or stripping out of screws required. It's just an easy and effective and reliable way to install your M.2 SSD. Continuing with our Q design innovations, we have Q release. This exciting feature will be found on select ASUS Z690 series motherboards. This integrated locking and release mechanism has been designed to be able to allow you to effectively and easily and consistently remove your graphics card. You no longer have to be worried about having to have direct access to the retention locking mechanism and depressing it to be able to remove your graphics card. As you can see right here, we have our graphics card locked in place. It could be a bit difficult to be able to access the retention mechanism. Now, just touch a button and you're good to go. Next, we have QLED. This is a four LED diagnostic array, which essentially helps to illuminate each one of the critical components of your system during its power on self-test. This includes the CPU, the DRAM, the graphics card, and the boot device. If there's an issue, the LED will light up, helping you to debug this. You'll also find that the boards feature the latest generation of USB-C connections internally with a USB-C header as well as a rear USB-C port. Great for the current generation of high-speed USB-C devices. Now last, but certainly not least, is going to be our RGB lighting. At a minimum, all ASUS ATX Z690 series motherboards will have at least two, if not more, ARGB headers. These 5-volt 3-pin headers will allow you to connect things like fans, LED strips, chassis with integrated LED lighting, AIO coolers, and many other items. And of course, you'll be able to fully control and synchronize these within Armory Crate, our one-stop shop for RGB lighting. So that wraps up our video. Make sure to go ahead and check out the link in the description. You'll be able to actually find out a lot more information regarding any one of the motherboards that we have in our Z690 series lineup, as well as you'll actually be able to access a full comparison chart, helping you to understand key differences between different models in different series. On top of that, if you've got questions, make sure to go ahead and check out our ASUS PC.Y Facebook group so you can get your questions answered. And also, if you've got any other questions, feel free to go ahead and drop them in the links down below. So with that, take care, take it easy, enjoy the rest of your day, and best of luck with your next build.